Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to talk about a function on the Yes Welder machines that you might not even know exists and might change your welds. So today, we're going to be talking about the 2T, 4T, and spot weld function on your machine. A lot of people don't understand what this is, how it works, and how to apply it to your weld, and it can be a game changer for you, depending on what kind of weld you're doing. So right now, I'm with the DP200 from Yes Welder. We are set up for MIG on steel, and we're gonna talk about the 2T versus 4T and how that applies to MIG, and then also the S4T on the DP200, which is an extra unique capability that this machine has. So 2T, 4T, this all comes down to touch, and it really is on the gun itself. So in 2T mode, which is probably the mode you're most likely using, it's the most popular, when you depress the trigger, the wire goes through the gun, starts the arc, and you weld, and to stop the weld, you merely let go of the trigger. Now this is great for welds that aren't that long, um, where you're not really, it's not, it's, it's not like you're doing a car body panel, right? You're just doing like a short six inch weld, 12 inch weld, maybe 24 inch weld, you're just kind of going along and you're stopping. Now, if you're doing like auto work, body work all day, it can get kind of taxing to be holding that trigger down all day. Now, that's where 4T comes in, 4T standing for four touch. So the first touch is going to be depressing the trigger and it starts your wire, wire touches the metal and the arc begins. But then you can actually let go of the trigger and relax your hand as you go down that long weld. Now the third touch is going to be pulling the trigger in again and the fourth touch is letting it go and that basically stops the wire from going through similar to just letting it go on 2T. Now like I said, this is really nice if you do a really long weld and it's a long day of welding and your finger's getting tired. So switching between 2T and 4T can definitely keep your welds more consistent depending on what type of weld you're doing and the application. Now let's get into spot welding. Spot welding is a nice touch if you're doing real, real short welds. Let's say you're doing stitch welds, um, thin metal that you can't put too much heat into and warp. Spot welding is you're gonna set the machine up to a certain length, one second, two second, three seconds, six seconds. And basically it's going to weld for that long and then it's going to kill the arc. This is, like I said, nice, especially in like if you're doing stitch welding where you don't need the entire seam to be welded, but just parts through it and you want them to be nice and even. So that way you can just set it maybe on a five second spot weld, weld for five seconds, it automatically kicks off. You can lift your hood, look to where your next start point is and you can keep all of your uh, spot or stitch welds all even across the entire workpiece. Now let's dive into what the really exciting one is, S4T. What Yes Welder has done with the S4T function is included a slope function of that. You press the trigger to start the preset start slope, hold to weld, then release to trigger the preset crater slope before stopping. This is especially useful in applications where you need smoother starts and stops. So let's talk about TIG and how 2T and 4T work on TIG. So we have the Yes Welder 205P Pro here, and 2T and 4T actually work the exact same as they do on MIG. With the torch, it's all about how you interact with the torch to start and stop the arc. In 2T, you're going to push the button to start the arc, do your weld, and then let go of the button and the arc will stop. This is great for short welds, quick welds, welds are gonna be right in front of you, but 4T and TIG is actually very handy. 4T again being click the button and you can remove your hand from the button, the arc continues and then to stop the weld, you click the button again. This is super nice for welds that are either super long or maybe you're gonna be welding in like an overhead position where your wrist is gonna be kind of at a weird angle, your finger's at a weird angle, and it's hard to hold the button the entire time. For In 4T, you can just click the button, remove your hand to a more natural position, finish the weld, click the button to turn it off, and really just focus on the weld, not the fact that your finger is straining, reducing fatigue, all around a really great way to run your TIG machine. For more welding tips and to check out all of the products and accessories that Yes Welder has, please visit yeswelder.com. Until next time, enjoy welding with Yes Welder.